during the whole SIFE ordeal, we had no time to do anything, pretty much. So, I mean, we went to practices. We practiced in our sleep. We practiced as we were eating. We practiced, I mean, constantly. What that's saying is that we first need to convert this back into the old prices. When we left Guatemala, we all said we'd come back to get started marketing their wonderful coffee right away. But North Central College professors expected us to do mundane tasks like attend classes, read textbooks, and write papers. And I fell right back into the routine of student life. We barely had time to talk, much less discuss our entrepreneurial blueprint for our coffee. I found myself on campus, walking headfirst through a cold spring wind to yet another SIF speech practice. SIF stands for Students and Free Enterprise. There are about 60 students involved in SIF at North Central College, working on a variety of programs. One program, called 180 Degrees, works with recent immigrants on everything, from how to balance a checkbook to applying for a home mortgage. Okay, it's not too old. Another group of students work on Friday Crew, where they encourage inner city kids to reach for the goal of higher education. My interest is NCC's Best, a product line that includes imported crafts, textiles, and our Conscious Bean brand coffee from Guatemala. We are NCC Scythe, and we're committed to changing the world one innovative project at a time. Part of the SIFE experience is the National College Business Competition, where speaking teams present their projects to a panel of SIFE judges. Back in January, when we returned for the new semester, I found myself at a SIFE meeting, volunteering to become part of the speaking team, along with my Conscious Bean partners, Kelly and Christina. And, uh, I'm gonna speak. <laughs> All right, please, generally in the context of coffee. Since then, we've been selling our brand at craft fairs and various other venues. Kelly and Christina spoke at a local Rotary Club breakfast, trying to sell the coffee at a grassroots level. And I learned a lot as far as our product and it put enthusiasm behind selling, you know. What we're Man, selling. that looks early. Sales numbers are an important part of the Scythe competition. This is a great coffee, and we think we have a good chance of winning at nationals. This competition swallowed my entire life. I made it just in time for rehearsal. I wonder if Professor Clifton's ancestors were shepherds. It's very hard. You're like, oh, this is awesome, this is great, this is great. And like, it seems easy, especially because it's not affecting school yet. It's not affecting all these different other factors. And then you keep going and you keep working and you keep working. And then after a while, you're just like, man, is this really what I signed up for? And then... <laughs> And then, but you know what, I mean, you just got to keep, that's why you have the rest of, you know, your team is you just got to keep moving forward because once you commit, you commit and you got to pull through. Slash, I haven't done laundry in a really long time. All of us could be described as overwhelmed. On top of everything else, I've been drafted to help our student director, Kyle, on the video that will play in the background during the presentation. I'm, I'm Kyle Hills. Um, I'm a senior here at North Central College. Um, I'm a marketing and entrepreneurship major and a communications minor. Um, basically, I've been creating the video to go along with the site presentation here for our regional competition. Um, just putting all the projects together, highlighting everything, um, kind of making it more emotional through the video. So that's kind of my job, keeping everyone on track, keeping them in sync with everything. Um, it's been a long but fun weekend so far. So, Here's Sonny Gill. He's one of those overachievers who, if you're lucky, you never live next door to, so your mother can't compare you. I did the Chicago Marathon last year. Uh, I'm, registered, I'm registered to run again this year, so running, reading, going to school pretty much takes up most of my time. Now as other members of our team join us, we'd welcome any questions you may have. Hello, my name is Catherine Borzan, and I am from Plainfield, Illinois. Meet Catherine Borzan. Catherine is an artist entrepreneur. She sells and creates her own jewelry line. Like me and most of our team, she volunteers for everything and then tries to find the time to follow through. 